Are you trying to decide what style menu to serve at your wedding, but maybe don't know enough about each to make a final decision? Welcome to the wedding planning page of your dreams. Let's get organized. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do. Hey, baby. I think I want to marry you. Hey, everyone. It's your favorite wedding planner, Brie, here to help you get your wedding agenda in order. Let's get into today's topic, which is going to be wedding menu styles. All right, so what do I mean when I say menu style? That means you're either going to be doing one of five major things with your food at your wedding. You're going to be doing a plated dinner, a buffet. There's also something called family style meal. Um, there is something called food stations and then also a cocktail reception. So I'm gonna go over what each of those means in a little bit more depth. Um, and then also what to expect when you do each of those and some cost effectiveness as well. All right, a plated dinner, what exactly does that mean? What that means is that all your guests are going to be remain seated during dinner time and they are basically going to be served a plate of food by whatever staff is there, the catering staff, the venue staff, whoever that may be. Um, this is normally a more formal style menu. So this is for, you know, obviously those people who want a more formal feel to their wedding and their dinner. Um, and it's usually done a couple of different ways. So there are three different ways that this can be served. Um, basically, you can do it so that every single person has the same entree. They don't really get a choice, that's all your choice. Another way to do it is that they select an entree from a menu that day. Um, that can get a little bit iffy sometimes if you know not everybody is 100% prepared. Um, and a way that I see most commonly that it's done is they pre-select what entree they're going to want when they send in their RSVP to you. So basically you would on your invitation say, or an invitation insert, say, oh, you know, here are the three menu options you have, choose now, and then that's what you're going to get at the wedding. Generally the sides and things are all the same for everybody. Um, it's just the entree options that generally change. Usually you get to pick around three, between around three different ones. Um, pros to a plated dinner is that it is formal and it's efficient. It's very easy to get everybody their food fairly quickly. Some cons may be that it's limited if you have a bunch of people with dietary restrictions. Um, and as far as pricing, it's usually costs I would say in my experience, it costs a little bit more just because of the staffing. Um, obviously, it's going to depend on your caterer, your venue, whoever you use for serving. Um, it's going to depend on how many people. It's going to depend on the actual food you choose. If you choose, you know, Wagyu beef, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than chicken. Um, but I would say that in my experience, this is one of the more, well, it can go two different ways. It's either one of the higher end meals or... It's one of the lower end meals if the staffing is less and because sometimes with other food options the um you get more food so with this it's kind of less food which could drive your cost down a little bit all right let's talk about buffet so most of us probably know what a buffet is generally at a wedding that's when long tables are put out and there's a whole variety of different foods that people can choose from and they can get some or as much or as little as they want from that buffet um Basically, they get in line, they grab whatever they want, they go sit down. Um, there's a couple different ways the plates will be. Either the plates will be on the buffet table or on the tables and they need to bring their plate up to the buffet. Obviously, that's up to you. It would be your wedding. Um, this one has a little bit more of a relaxed feel. Obviously, it's not a super formal style dinner, um, but it is kind of nice because it, there's a variety, is a pro, um, and usually there's a lot of quantity and it looks very visually appealing as well. A con to that could be the time that it takes to get through the line sometimes it takes a little while. Um, I know usually when I do it, I'll do double sided or even two buffet lines occasionally if there's over 200 people just to try to get people through as quick as possible. Um, pricing, obviously it's gonna depend on the caterer again. I know I've worked with some venues or you know this venue where buffet costs less because we don't need as much staff and staffing is really one of the biggest costs with doing food. Um, it could be more, 
depending, um, just because it is a larger variety and people can get as much or as little as they want, so you need to make sure you have enough food. Um, but it could also be less. I mean, it just really is gonna depend on the venue on that one. Family style, so I don't know if a lot of you have heard of this, especially at weddings, um, but family style is just how it sounds. Basically, guests remain at their seats, platters or bowls of food are brought to the tables and they pass it around the table family style, kind of like um, a Sunday dinner family vibe, you know? Um, this one is super nice because it does give that comfortability kind of, and it gets people at the table talking, especially if they don't know each other. Um, a pro to this could be that it could offer a large variety depending on what you want to be put on the tables. Um, and like I said, it makes tables um, talk a little bit more. Strangers at the tables talk, hey, can you pass me that? Kind of gets the conversation going a little bit. Um, a con to that could be that the platters on the table take up a lot of room generally, um, so they don't have a lot of extra room on their tables. Um, and that's kind of when the catering staff has to be on it when they see an empty plate, please get it off the table type of thing. Um, this one can be one of the more expensive meals just because you have to usually have a lot more staff to try to get everything, you know, onto the tables as quickly as possible, clean it up when, you know, the platters are empty, things like that. Um, there's a very high service ratio. Food stations. So this is a newer concept, I would say. Um, basically, it's kind of how it sounds. It's different stations of food all over the place. So guests get up, they go to whichever station they would like to eat at, they get some food. Um, a lot of times the plates are on the table for this one just because there are so many different stations, you remind them to get their plate before they go up to the food stations to get their food. But you can also have plates at the various food stations if people forgot them. Um, it is similar to a buffet where there is a large variety, but it's stations. So essentially there's different stations set up throughout the venue um, for different foods. So you could have a pasta station, a pizza station, a meat cutting station, a salad station. I mean, obviously it's up to you and whatever type of food you do, um, but it's kind of cool um, because a pro to it is it's very interactive between the guests. Um, and then there's also usually a chef there sometimes that you can talk to depending, or at least there's someone there kind of filling the food. A con to that could be that it does require more space at the venue, unfortunately. I mean, there are multiple different stations that you kind of have to set up. So if you have a larger venue, then it shouldn't be any issue. Um, but if you're kind of limited on space, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, as far as cost, obviously there, again, there's a large service ratio. There's a lot of staff needed to be able to deal with all of these different food stations. The food cost might be a little less, which you know could help even it out. Obviously that's just gonna, again, depend on your caterer. So that's questions you need to talk to them about. And finally, a cocktail reception. So basically that's kind of how it sounds too. It's cocktail hour, the entire reception. There's not really a formal dinner to sit down to. So usually that's kind of more of a, oh, we just want to talk and dance. We don't really want all of the formalities. We don't want all these toasts because Generally, when you do a cocktail reception, there's not gonna be a bunch of tables out. It's gonna be more like high cocktail rounds where people can stand around. Um, and then appetizers and small bites are kind of served at different times throughout the night to keep people eating so they're not hungry, but it is not like an official meal. Um, and then basically a pro with this could be a relaxed timeline. You know, you don't have to follow that strict timeline because you have to get all those dances and all those speeches and all that kind of stuff in, which is nice. And you can invite a lot of people because you don't have tables that you need to set up. It's just walking room. Um, and a con to that could be maybe some of your older guests might not be able to last the entire night if there's not any seating really around. But that's something that can be fixed. You can offer seating. Um, and another thing is it could make your bar tab go up a little bit because people are, you know, just up mingling the entire night, not really getting a full meal in. As far as cost, generally I would say it's cheaper because you're not doing a full meal, it's just appetizers the entire night. Obviously that's gonna depend on which appetizers you choose, um, but also you generally don't need a whole huge staff to cover just appetizers as well. All right, that's all I really have on menu styles. Those are the five main ones that I generally see, obviously with the most common, I would say being plated or buffet. Um, I just wanted to kind of provide you with the different options because a lot of people don't really know that those other three are an option. Um, and they're kind of cool depending on whatever style you wanna go for, whatever vibe your wedding is kind of going after. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and thank you very much. Have a great day. Don't say no, 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 no.